Yo guys, what's up? It's White Sox Talk Live. And today, I am doing comparing the 2020 Chicago White Sox to the 2020 Detroit Tigers. And I have a friend out there who might be watching this. His name is Gabe Francisco. And he's from Detroit. So, this might offend you because, no offense, but the Tigers are kind of trash. But let's get into it. And if you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Because we are 5 subscribers away from 100 subscribers. And when I hit 100 subscribers, I will have a pizza party. So yeah, let's get into it. First, let's start off with comparing the pitching rotations. Because I'll just say one thing. The White Sox pitching rotation is going to be so much better than the Detroit Tigers. Because if you think about it, I don't know much about the Tigers farm system, but it's probably pretty good. Well, I know the White Sox farm system is like the number two in baseball, Padres first. Um, but if you think about the White Sox at pitching have Keuchel, Giolito, Gonzal Gio Gonzalez, uh, Michael Kopech, Ronaldo Lopez, it's just going to be a loaded pitching, and I think the White Sox are going to have the advantage. I know that the Tigers have uh, Matthew Boy Matt Boyd. He's probably their best starter. He's probably going to carry the pitching rotation, and that's kind of all I know about theirs. And then next, let's move on to the bullpen. So, as you guys know, the white, neither bullpen is really that strong. But this year, the White Sox have gained some bullpen help by getting Steve Ciszek and keeping uh, Kyle May. So, that helped out. And the I know in Detroit's bullpen, they have really only one good arm, and that's their closer, Joe Jimenez. While the White Sox have got... They have some decent guys, but then they have some guys like Steve Ciszek, Alex Calame, Calvin, Calvin Herrera used to be really good, and he's still good now. But I'm telling you guys, the White Sox bullpen is going to be pretty good. And I'm glad about that because our bullpen last year blew a lot of games. And now let's move on to the lineup comparison. So the White Sox lineup is going to be loaded. And when I say loaded, I mean loaded. Like, the White Sox are going to maybe have one of the best lineups in baseball. But the thing is, they're not developed enough yet to, to work out good enough with each other. Because if you think about it, you have two good bats coming of Robert and Madrigal. And they haven't played a game yet in MLB. So it'll take them a couple years to figure out the lineup. While you have guys like Jose Abreu, Johan Mancada, you have Yaz coming in the lineup too. I'm excited about him. But we we just have guys who who aren't experienced with this team and they might they might some might fit well and some might take a little bit. So that will be a good part about the Sox. And they're going to have so much power, like Eloy, he's had some experience. But Detroit also has some experience, but they have a younger team too coming up. They have some prospects, most are pitching, I believe. And their offense is pretty, it's not one of the best, but it's not one of the worst. So they're kind of in the middle, I think. But for sure, they need to improve on their pitching. Because I got to say, the White Sox have really improved on their pitching offseason and how much there is coming up for them, too. And Detroit just needs to get pitching, and they have some coming up, too. But offensively, I think the White Sox are way better. And then bullpen, White Sox are a lot better in bullpen, too. So I think by this comparison, the White Sox win. But, I mean, it's the Detroit Tigers. I mean, they're not that great, but they'll be good soon. And I really think, like, 
work around the rail lot, but I don't know a lot about Detroit's manager, so I can't say much about him. But I can tell you one thing, Ricky Renteria seems like a super nice guy. He seems like he could be a better, he seems like he might be a solid manager to have for the Sox in the, their new team coming up. So, yeah, this was me, uh, co me comparing the 2020 Chicago White Sox to the 2020 Detroit Tigers. And if you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to your channel. Because we are 5 subscribers away from 100 subscribers. And when I hit 100 subscribers, I'll throw a pizza party with the vlogging channel. Go sub to him. Look up my first marble tutorial. And you'll see one with a basket. Press on that video and press that smash that subscribe button. We want to get him to 100 subs too. Well, first want to hit those tens numbers. But you guys know what I'm saying. And bye. See you guys next video. Peace. Oh, I will actually have a whole playlist of this. So I'll do every single one in the division. Peace.